listening, Carissa here on Carissa Says, where Carissa Says It All and that is how I feel. So we are back with another video. If you're watching, go ahead and subscribe. If you're a subscriber, hey fam, thank you so much for watching this video today and tuning into my channel. Please make sure you look at my other videos. I have lots of videos on my channel from challenges, mukbangs, uh, informational advice, upliftment, gossip, um, everything, trending topics, tiny events, news, everything. I give you the latest school anything that I come around and I can come up with. And I also help you guys with trying to get through social issues and through your life in a better sense. So today we are doing a beauty video and I do these a lot as well. Check out my playlist. I have a beauty playlist that has a bunch of videos on that you can watch all related to beauty. So today we are trying out the eco style professional black castor and flaxseed oil deep conditioning therapy um uh i guess deep treatment deep conditioning treatment so it's a therapy deep conditioning therapy treatment and it restores and repairs revitalizes moisturizes strengthens and volume and volume it contains vitamin e fiber and omega-3 it has no petroleum no mineral oil no parabens and it's sulfate free so it says on the back right here it says eco style black castor and flaxseed oil deconditioning therapy is an intensive deconditioner that restores repairs strengthens and revitalizes your hair and scalp yes my hair needs it contains a blend of black castor oil and flaxseed oils vitamin a d and e intensive conditioners that mend and reconstruct damaged hair cuticles great a blend of natural oils to tame split ends which i do need directions apply liberally so wet hair comb through and allow to set for three to five minutes to deep condition place a shower cap on your hair and sit under the dryer for 10 to 15 minutes for the ultimate restrict restorative therapy for the ultimate restorative therapy to so get the most uh, restoration out of this product deep condition with a shower cap under a heated dryer or get you if you want like a hooded dryer or like one of those um uh, dryers that you can put your head under what you do is get a warm towel or you get a towel and you put hot water as hot as you can boil the water you can get your faucet some people's faucets are like super duper hot um you you just run the towel underneath that water that's really really hot or pour hot water over the towel if you see the steam that's good put your shower cap on and place that towel over your um your 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 shower cap and wrap the towel around and once it starts to dampen you just you know reheat the towel out adding more hot water to it and keep that process going until 10 to 15 minutes to get the deep conditioning because that's going to open up your um, follicles so to receive this product this deep condition so i wanted to go ahead and use this one because before this i had a um i had in fox lock and then i had a style that was like braids and i had it in for like two weeks matter of fact i had it for two weeks a little bit longer than two weeks so my hair needs some revitalizing because um, when you have braids, if you're not like, you can't really completely moisturize. The process you do before your braids is most important because that's how you really keep moisture within your follicles and your strands. But then once that moisture starts to go out, you take your hair out, especially if you blow dry your hair or straighten your hair prior, your hair may be a little dry. And that's where I feel like my hair is not as moisturized. And um, yeah, it's not as moisturized. It doesn't have as much life as it normally does when I don't do braids and stuff. So I wanted to go ahead and give my hair like a little, uh, and this is what I'm going to use. Plus it's new. Can't go wrong with new. So what I'm about to do now is section my hair into four sections down the middle. One, two, three, four. And then within the four sections, I'm going to do smaller sections. And I'm going to apply this to my hair. My hair is already damp, as you can tell. I already washed my hair earlier today. Um, and so I just kind of miss it a little bit because I had to go do some things. But my hair it has been shampooed already. And so, yeah, I'm going to apply this to my hair. Let it sit under the dryer. And I will show you that process. And then once I wash it out, I will come back and give you guys my opinion. So let's get into it. Okay, guys. So I am back. We're going to work on this back section of my hair. I'm going to get another clip or another bow. I guess I use this bobby pin. I'm gonna use this bobby pin to kind of pin up the rest of the hair um, that I'm not gonna be using in the section because I don't want to work in too big of sections. 
So I'm not gonna use that, so I'm gonna pin this up. I'm gonna pin this up here. Put the bobby pin, my nails will prevent me to allow me to the thing. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna pin this up right here so I can get that out of the way. I can work on this section. So this is the section I'm gonna be working with. I don't have my, I can't find my black white silk comb, so I'm gonna use this section and this section of my three comb, three part comb to be able to go through my hair with the um, deep conditioning. So let's go ahead and open it. Let's go ahead and open this and smell it. This is how it looks on the inside. When you open it, it looks like this. It kind of reminds me of shea butter. It doesn't have shea butter though. Does it have shea butter? What are the ingredients? So the ingredients is water, steroloconium, chloride, glycerol, steroate, comunas, which is castor oil, Millennium Eustanium, which is linseed, seed oil, glycerin, cicero, alcohol, glycinate, butter, butyro, sperm, mum, mum, parky. Oh, shea butter. I can tell when some shea butter is in a product. I love shea butter, y'all. I can tell when shea butter, I knew shea butter. I said, I look like shea butter. So yeah, it has shea butter. Fragrance, perfume, ole, europia, uh, argans, clairfiol, vitamin D, toso, ferulio, SAT, SAT, whatever, vitamin E, and then some other stuff of color. So I knew this had shea butter in it because it just it just reminded me of shea, but it looks like it has the feel of the shea butter. Normally shea butter you can use as a carry oil because it's very thick and thin at the same time. You can mix other stuff with it. And um, shea butter is really, really good. So I'm excited now because I have fresh African butter, shea butter in my hair stuff. I'm going to just put this aside. This is the texture. This is the texture, y'all. It feels very... It feels very much like shea butter. Shea butter, when you when you get it, it's kind of thick, but then once you start to rub it, it starts to melt. And as you can see, it kind of melts right into my hands, which is a good thing. I'm gonna take this section and run it down, kind of like fingering, finger detangling it through. Ooh, look at that. My hair needed this. Look at the difference, y'all. <laughs> look at that. Yo, I can use both sides of my comb. That is nice. Look at that. Look at that. It's a little bit more. Just so you guys can see. Yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and continue doing this. I like the way that this lip is. In this container, the, this um deep conditioner. Cause some deep conditioners, you can't. I don't know. Some deep conditioners don't really work all the way for me. Like I like the feel of them. Um, but this one, I really do like. I really do like. I like like this. It feels nice. It's making my hair smooth and easy to detangle. Look at this girls. Do y'all see? I don't know what I can see. Can y'all see? I think you can see. I think I can see. I think I can see. <laughs> Alright, so I don't really have a way to show you guys without me turning around, so don't laugh. I just want to make sure y'all can see what I got going on back there, because you can't really see that far. Alright, let's go to the next section. This is good. This is good. I'm gonna finish this section, y'all, and then when I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this process. I don't want y'all, y'all have to sit here and watch me do this whole thing because it really is not needed. Look at this, this is so simplistic. Oh. 
Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and finish doing this. Look at this. It, oh, my gosh. Look at this. It goes straight through. Look at that. Oh, my God. It comes straight through. No shedding. Oh. <laughs> guys. Okay. I'll be back. Okay, guys. Now, I just want to make sure I make this very apparent. When you are putting any high deep conditioner, make sure you pay attention to your ends. Your ends are the longest piece of hair that you have. Like the, I mean, when I say long, I mean like the longest piece you had on your head because this was technically here at one point and it grew down. So you want to make sure that you are taking more care of your ends than you are your roots, to be honest, because you want to make sure that these don't split, get damaged, or break off so that you can continue to grow and and attain the retention for hair growth. That's like the key to hair growth is stopping breakage, split ends, and retaining your length. Every every month you grow half an inch to one inch per month, but it's up to you to retain that length. And a lot of us don't retain our length. So we have trouble with growing our hair because our hair is growing, but the hair growth that we're getting is not being retained. So now that we're done with this, I'm going to, you know, just continue to comb this out, rub my hands through it, and give myself a little massage. <sighs> For about two minutes. Oh, this feels good. Just to make sure that it's in my hair. Maybe 30 seconds to a minute to stimulate my roots. Because next up is to put my hair on the, underneath the shower cap and under a hooded dryer for 10 to 15 minutes. Before I do so, I want to just let you guys know that so far, so good. I really like this um, product slip. I like this product, the way that it coats my hair, the way that it's penetrating my hair. The way that my hair filters on is very soft, by the way. Um, shea butter is a really good base. So if you use shea butter and you mix with some like oils, you can also do your own deep condition if you want to do it that way. But this right here, I will definitely buy again. Um, this is this is really good on my hair. This was I mean, I don't know what else to say. This feels really good on my hair. I feel like I've got less to none um, shedding, which is a good thing, and I comb my hair out. And yeah, this is all the shedding that I received. So if you did this monthly, well, I say do condition at, at the least once a month, every other week, if you can, weekly, if you can't, but if you have a hairstyle that is protective style, you probably won't do so. But if you're going to do a protective style, make sure you do a deep conditioning, a deep conditioner, a protein treatment, a deep condition before you do the hairstyle. Um, put your hair in some shea moisture, braids with some leave-in, like do, do your hair in four and do braids with leave-in. Let your hair sit overnight before you braid your hair or you take some shea, take some shea butter and um, go through your hair, comb it out, put the shea butter in your hair, let that sit overnight and then braid your hair like that before you braid your hair to have your hair be moisturized. So let me get my shower cap. As you can see, it's starting to seep in a little bit, which is a good thing. It probably won't go in all the way. My hair, my hair doesn't absorb that quick, to be honest. But at least I can tell that it's working in some places, which is a good thing. Whew. I need to get a bigger shower cut. My hair has been growing, guys. My hair has been growing. My hair has been growing. Stuff that on there. To, to make it easier, you can put your hair into four braids or four twists or however many twists you want. So as you're doing this, I'm just doing it the quick, fast, and easy, lazy way to do the condition because I have to go. I have things to do. I need to get my hair. Um, I actually have, I'm going to do my hair today. I might record that. But I'm going to put in a, um, a crochet set. Um, and before I do so, I want to go get... An oil change that I need to get. It's not even a joke, guys. So I am going to do that, but I'm going to make sure that I do this first. So now I'm going to go ahead and get my hoodie dryer. 
this is my hooded dryer guys okay so you plug it in open the package i got this for nine dollars for those of you like oh i need a hooded dryer i don't have a, I don't have a, a dryer at home get you a hooded dryer from the, the hair store for 10 bucks it works like magic okay it may not be as hot okay like but depending on your blow dryer it can be as hot okay now that it's on i say you can get it from the hair store for 10 bucks i just put it on here like this you put it on the high high setting and you sit for 10 to 15 minutes like it said so here we go Hot. It definitely got into my hair. If you can leave it on longer, go ahead and leave it on longer. I left this on for it said one one one, and I started at ten at twelve fifty. So I left it on for twenty one minutes instead of fifteen. This is how my hair looks. It has definitely gone into it. Um. It definitely has seeped in. I'm going to go ahead and wash this out and I will give you my final remarks. If you made it to the end of the video, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you go ahead and smash that like button and make sure you share this video to anybody that's looking for a deep condition that is really good, affordable, and really works. I'll be back. Okay guys, this is what we're left with. My hair is nice and deep condition. Um, it definitely doesn't feel dry. It can have a little bit more moisture, but as far as the feel of it, it definitely is easy to detangle afterwards. Um, yeah, it feels nice and repaired. I didn't get any shedding, well close to none, as far as shedding, which is a good thing because normally my hair sheds. And so if I had to rate this mask, I would, rate this mask a 7.5 because I've done some masks that really um, made my hair feel soft um, it doesn't I'm not gonna say it feels dry that's it doesn't feel dry but it doesn't give me it doesn't have that real soft effect when I pull it it doesn't really feel that soft and fluffy um but it but I'll give it an 8 I'll give it an 8 because it did do what it's supposed to do. Um, it, 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 it worked. So I'll give it an 8. I don't give it a 10 because I've tried better ones that I like as far as the softness is concerned. But as far as the product, okay, for what it promises, it's a 10. For what it says it's going to do, I give it a 10. But comparing this to other deep conditioners, I'll give it an 8. Because I know that I've used other deep conditioners and it, given, it gave me this softer feel. My hair feels kind of... Um, little dry ish still but as far as the product concern it's an eight um i will mix this it's a product i can mix with another product that's like a maui moisture product do half and half and it will i know that deep conditioner will give me that deep conditioner mix would be like oh, heaven above perfect it give me the, the right amount of moisture it don't give me what i'm looking for in the deep condition with the restrict reconstructing uh properties that it has within it the damage fixing properties the split in properties as far as fixing spins and preventing them so all of that stuff all that 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 would be the perfect mix a maui moisture deep conditioner and a um and this eco style deep conditioner together would be perfect but yeah i get to say eight i did enjoy this um, deep conditioner. I will definitely buy it again. I will definitely use it again. If you have any comments or you agree with things I've said, please leave me a comment section down below. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give me your opinions. And if you want me to try out anything else, let me know. And I will see you on my next video. Peace, love, and blessings, guys. I'm out. Hey, oh.